Bob, do you want to quickly explain how that uh, contraption works? Well, this arm goes down. So th th this is the this is the top of the ice, right? Yeah. Underwater. And this goes up against the ice, and that pick sticks into the ice. And when you pull that lever, and when you pull the end of the string there, it pushes this ahead. It pushes the jigger ahead. Just like that. Bit of a contraption. It's almost two feet of ice there, almost. Um, almost two feet of ice. That's a lot of ice. So this is what we do. What do you mean we? Like that? <laughs> Now what Dave, Pop's pushing the ice to jig in, what Dave's doing, what are you doing there Dave? Tying a rope around your Pop's waist so you don't fall in. <laughs> <laughs> Tying a running line onto the jigger. And you'll eventually see what the running line's for. So Pop is just... He's positioning the jigger in, in the direction they want the net to go. So, positioning it now. You kind of see some red down in there. Let's clean the ice there. Pretty well straight to that point there, huh? Yeah. Shoot it to the bomber there. Yeah, I see it is going to come in. Yeah. So they're trying to get it to go in that direction down there. These are all on the next group. What was that, Dave? Oh. He's running away. He's clean the wet spot there. Even. Dave's gonna catch up to it right away here. Where that thing goes. Pop just made that jigger. Now he's doing the jig. Now, now he's doing the jig, that's right. Oh, it's way up ahead there. Yeah, straight, you're going pretty much for the straight to the bottom here. So, straight ahead, we're going to follow Dave on the next net we do. Right point. now we're just going to watch Pop. Pop, how long did it take you to, to make that jigger? A couple of days. And then I had to bring it out and uh, see that it was working okay, so... You see it? Here! So that's the way it works, you can, with that hook grabbing the top of the ice you can always hear a noise and it's painted bright red so that you can follow it if you can see it if you can see it how did you used to do it back in the day pop same way same way the only thing we never had knockers on not a lot of them never had knockers on why not well, you could hear the the needle hitting the ice. Good enough, eh? That's why they had so many kids back then, eh? They had to follow the nets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Didn't you didn't you once tell me that you guys trained all the dogs to uh No, we didn't for the guy that just lived off the Elk Island there. He had a dog that used to follow the jigger and then he used to pull the net under for him. The dog used to pull the net under? Yeah. Hmm. And he could really find the jigger. Really, eh? Well, thank God we bought snowmobiles. So that's Dave. Dave is directly under or over top of the jigger right now. So it's right, uh, it's right below him. See him listening there? He's shoveling away the top of the top of the ice from all its snow and that to make sure that you can see and hear it. Because what happens is once we get to the end of this rope, that's when we know where to stop. And you pre-measured that rope against the net, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's a marker for 80 yards and 100 yards. I think we're setting 80 yards. So this is an 80 yard net, and what kind of net are we setting right now? I don't know. Oh. Uh, monofilm. Is it going to sit high in the water, or sit low, or what? No, it'll be on the bottom. It's going to sit on the bottom of the lake. So we're going to have a whole and bunch. It'll stretch up about 20 feet. So 80 yards long, 20 feet tall. 20 feet deep. 20 feet deep. Three and a quarter inch mesh deep. Mesh. Okay, that's it. That's it. Yeah. No, knock it a bit. Dave can't find quite exactly where it is. I can bring it down if you want. Got the rope attached. Okay. This is the rope we're going to use to pull it up the back under and that under. And it's connected to the trailer that's going over to the other end of the jigger. Wanna pop fancy knots here? There we are. And it looks like I'm getting less than the dust here. So these are all the ropes here, everything's tied up. Drilled the big hole so we could put the jigger down there. They're both going here.